and welcome to another video and it's the Sunday the 6th of August 2023 around about 53 Fahrenheit about 13 Celsius looking a bit rainy again and we are in Newcastle Newcastle under Lyme not Newcastle upon time come and join yes. us head uh, up into the town and we're just going to walk through the very colorful underpasses here in Newcastle So I've got my umbrella with me. I'm hoping it's not going to rain. So some beautiful flowers and gardens around here. Wow, and check out the sunflowers there. They're looking amazing. Beautiful. Very well kept gardens. And there are some uh, beautiful flowers here. That well, looks absolutely awesome, eh? Really do like these. I think the Rudabala flowers that start to flower here August, September. I'm going to head through another underpass here, uh, which will take us up into the town centre. And again, very colourful underpasses, all tiled. Wow. And town centre up this way. Newcastle 2005 it's got the artist there who, uh, who painted all this it's a pretty breezy morning so I've got the mic on the sound should be coming uh, through really well and it says welcome to our town here Blore Watch and Clockmakers Newcastle And there we go, Newcastle Town. I always remember on the corner this used to be, was it Downs and Bartlam travel agent? That had been there some years. So it's 9.46 on a Sunday morning. Brannigan's. That used to be a very, very popular nightclub. Completely closed. Not been open for a while, that one. Brassington's. Wow, completely closed. Absolutely dead, that one. So it looks as though Mitchell's pub is still going. Looks like the pubs are doing well now. But the nightclubs are pretty much closing down. Well, this one's called Hogarth's. It looks as though uh, that'll be a popular place to come here in uh, Newcastle. So we're coming up to the location of the famous markets here in Newcastle. Darwin and Bear. Eat, drink and play. Look at some of the old buildings here in Newcastle. Eh? They're called bygones. That's probably interesting. So I've seen lots of uh, pictures where this was bustling years and years ago for the market. So we've got a pub there, the Golden Lion. The Slug and Lettuce. So I'm guessing on market days again, these are all taken, be pretty busy. And 
Newcastle Pet Supplies. That's been there some years. That was completely closed down. That one's now to let. Cash exchange. Amusement up to five hundred pound jackpot there. Well, this is the Nat West on the corner. Looks like it's still open. We're coming up to Hassel Street. Well, the main cinema there in Newcastle is called View. And you've got a subway just below it. Poundland on the corner. We're going to continue the walk up through Hassel Street. It looks as though, yeah, NetWest is still remaining open. Massive bank now. There are a lot of empty shops again here in Newcastle. What's this one? This is Timpson. So down here to the right will be the bus station. And I've not been to Newcastle for a while at night. This one's called the Playhouse. Eat, drink and play. Saturday and Sunday from 12pm. That's a pretty colourful building. And just at the bottom there, Market Lane. I remember walking up and down Market Lane a lot to cross the other part of town. And we've got the bus station right there. So there's a few people waiting for the stores to open at the moment. Wilco right on the corner. So Wilco is currently almost in administration. Shops are just starting to uh, open up. So just gone past the O2 shop there. Greg's. Always good to find a Greg's. And that's actually uh, pretty busy at the moment already. Peacocks. And Barhead Travel. I'm just going past the E shop. And we've got Costa. Costa always attracts plenty of people just before they do all the shopping. Spec savers up on the left. There is plenty of shops here in Newcastle, eh? Polka dot travel. So this one's home bargain. And the pound bakery, that looks pretty good. Four for two pound fifty sausage roll. Two pound baguette. Well, there's plenty more life here in Newcastle at uh, ten o'clock in the morning than there was in Hanley last week. Hanley was like a ghost town. And we've got Newlick on the corner there. Which is 60% off sale. Wow. So we're going to make a right down here. Let's go and have a look at the gardens at the bottom. Let's see what we can see down here. A lot of the buildings here, 1926, 1854. Got a homeless guy there slapped out for the night. This is Bloom Bar.
This is Weatherspoons. Quite a few people going in and out of there today. So that's the Arnold Machin. Pretty unique building. And on the side is the rectory chambers. Now the gardens look amazing. So this is Queen's Gardens, guys. And I've got to admit, this looks absolutely stunning. Check that out. Wow. They have certainly gone to town here with the flowers. Look at that. Beautiful. A lot of flags around. Let's see what these flags say. Celebrating our Royal Charter, 1173. The loyal and ancient borough of Newcastle under Lyme, 2023. So the gardens here are stunning. Beautiful. Good shot of weather spoons on the corner. That's amazing. I'd love to have some of these flowers in the garden. That'd just be awesome, eh? And let's check out Victoria. So, Victoria, born at Kensington Palace, 24th of May, 1819. Died at Osborne, 22nd of January, 1901. And buried at Windsor, 2nd of Feb, 1901. Standing proud over Newcastle today. The floral display commemorates the 850th anniversary of Newcastle being granted a royal charter and the plants match the colours from the 850 year seal. So you've got rutabaca, red petunia and delphinium. Amazing. I can't get over the colours, it's awesome. Good close-up shot there of the the flowers here in Newcastle today. So glad I've come to Newcastle just to see these beautiful array of flowers. Awesome. This is one of the main roundabouts here in Newcastle. Again celebrating 850 years. And very, very well kept Newcastle is. Beautiful roundabout. And heading up there is towards the Brampton and the Museum and Art Gallery. In front of us is Castle House. Some beautiful hydradiums there. So Queen Victoria, 200th birthday. Flower bed has been created to mark the 200th birthday of Queen Victoria, 24th of May and plants are used to chosen reflect the Victorian era. It's planted by volunteer school children. And it tells you a little bit there. Grown at Osborne, Queen Victoria's holiday home on the Isle of Wight. Wow. It's actually getting quite warm now. So what a beautiful area just to come and sit on the benches here after doing some shopping in Newcastle. Amazing. So what I'm seeing so far, Newcastle is 100% cleaner than what we've seen in Hanley and Tunstall, that area. And they've got to be very, very proud of the gardens here. Plenty of seats just to come and uh, relax. So Castle House is the home of all public services in one place. It's absolutely scorching now. I've got three layers and I've got a coat, a top and a t-shirt. Plus an umbrella in my pocket. Wow, just check that out.
And again, Queen Victoria. Sitting proud there, the entrance to Queen's Park here in Newcastle. So if you haven't been to Newcastle for a while, I'd definitely say come down. Just to have a walk around these gardens. Beautiful. I hope you're all enjoying these walking videos we're, we're bringing you today. Certainly could spend pretty much all day here. Yeah? Some nice places to sit out there at the, uh, at the pub. It's starting to look even better now with the sun coming out. Let's have a look at the flowers again, there's a close up there. Amazing. So we'll head out of the park and we'll head up into Newcastle. Just looking at some of the architecture of the buildings there. Never really looked at that, look at that. Wow. Some nice areas just to sit outside the, the pub and weather spoons. Looks like a bit of an abandoned building at the bottom there. A few little dirty areas, so again, homeless guy there. Plenty of rubbish in the corner that could be cleaned up by that new shop, I'm sure. So as we head up here, you've got the Georgian dragon on the right hand side. Even though this is a, supposed to be a pedestrianised area, just got to watch out for the cars up here. So that's quite good actually, you've got a list of bus times just there coming up. Yeah, let's look at some of the old buildings here. The Royal Orchid Thai Massage and Therapy. It's got a 16 on there, so whether that's the year, I don't know. And the Georgian Dragon. All open. Either for a drink or breakfast, I guess. Looks so like Reflex is still up and running. That was a popular nightclub to come to here in Newcastle. And Pockets, established in 1996. That's where, if you've got some money, you can afford some nice clothing there. And the Iron Monkey, that way is towards the police station. That building looks as though it's starting to uh, have some renovation work done it. And that's the entry heading down to the other part of Newcastle. And you've still got Yatesy, so there is quite a lot of nightlife areas here in Newcastle compared to Hanley where it had all closed down. Yatesy's 1884. So yeah, there's plenty of cars coming down here. So this looks as though, again, somebody's knitted all that lift, celebrating the 850 years. And what's that? You've got the Capallo Lounge. Yeah, here's another car. So if, you, if you're wandering down here, just watch out for the traffic. Cafe Nero down on the bottom of the corner there. It looks like somebody has been busy doing all the knitting here. So this used to be the SS SS building. Lots of S's there, look. I don't know what that's about. Tell me in the comments. 
Well, pretty much you can see SSS everywhere there. A historical building. Wow, check that out. Rolex. Some money there. So, it looks as though Newcastle is still a happening place. You come here on a weekday or a weekend. Again, remember it is only 10 o'clock in the morning here. So this says it's a wrap celebrating the 850 years Newcastle underline. Craft groups across the town have contributed to a variety of uh, different knitting and squares. Turkish barber on the corner there. Cafe Nero. Some beautiful places where you can just come and sit out there. Check that out. That'd be nice, a nice summer's evening. So we'll just head down. Um, you've got the old Bull's Head Inn. Pretty old pub. Pale Ale celebrated London Gin. Astley Walk. A lot of empty shops around here. This is, I think, where you can get all your wedding dresses from here on the corner. So as soon as you head down a few of the side streets, it gets a little bit messy. Co-op bank on the corner, still open. Yeah, just check out all the dresses there. All different colours of wedding dresses that you need. Got the church down at the bottom, and look at the storm that's coming. That looks quite an interesting place, Timothy Guttridge. It'll be worth a visit in there, I guess. So this one, this shop is called To The Nines, Bridal, Prom and Evening Wear. Building to let. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get a massive downpour here. So we've got a Chatwins. What is John B? Nice little sitting area there. So the church at the bottom is called St Giles. I know uh, St Giles Church is, uh, I've got friends that always used to uh, meet up and go in there like a breakfast on a, on a Saturday. Some interesting shops, Art of Slam. Yeah, that's a pretty big storm coming this way. Eh? Plenty of shops in Newcastle. Right in the corner looks as though it's empty there. And some beautiful flowers today here in Newcastle. The Art of Authentic Meals, that looks pretty interesting in there. So if you're interested in uh, coming and dining here in Newcastle, some really good places. I'm going to head back up into the town. Really feel the sun beating down now, so that's Pepper Street. Some properties here, 290,000. 230,000, 375, nice one there, nice drive area, 395,000. Okay, let's continue walking. We're going to look at some of the old uh, art displays here in Newcastle. A lot of banks here in Newcastle, Lloyd's on the corner there. This one's the wheelhouse. A 
Now I guess the disappointing part of Newcastle is the Roebuck Shopping Centre. Up here on the right I believe it's completely empty and going to be quite a mess. A lot of rubbish in there. I guess quite a few of the homeless will be uh, in and about there. But yeah, the Roebuck Shopping Centre looks as though it is pretty much almost empty. Yeah, still got the signs here, toilets that way, midway car park, police station. So right here in the centre, the Roebuck is not looking uh, that good at the moment, which is a shame because everywhere else in Newcastle is looking pretty good. Welcome to Newcastle. So a bit of a map there of the, the centre. Um, we just got the rain starting now. Remember there used to be a nightclub I think somewhere there down them steps or is it called Rockin' Robins or something like that? Thomas Cook on the corner. Completely shut down. Boot open as usual. I think they need a new sign now, what do you reckon? Oh my god, Laura Ashley. I didn't realise that had closed down. I'd been there some years. And this is the Lancaster building. Have a look at some of the old artwork up there. It says here, Newcastle Market. Sun, wind, rain or snow. There's something for everybody since 1173. So far, very impressed. Newcastle is a lot cleaner than what it was about two years ago when we visited. But amazing, shops like Laura Ashley completely closed. So this is the Market Cross 1984. The original top stone and column were replaced. Lamp bracket steps and other stone work were repaired. The Mayor Council T. Naylor commemorated the restoration 21st of December 1984. Okay, so this is the Guild Hall here in Newcastle. Okay, so welcome to summer 2023. It's back with the umbrella. Not a day that we've had where it's not the storm that we saw coming. That's definitely going to give us a good uh, downpour. So we've got Go Outdoors there, up to 60% off. So some pretty good deals. Panoramas. Looks like it's closed down. And... The wind's getting up as well now, so there's definitely a storm passing us. A lot of uh, casino things to be here, seen here in Newcastle. Sense, welcome to Sense, Newcastle Underline. Connecting sight, sound and life. Lots of different things for sale there. Chair for £80. TV stand, £5. Necklaces, £1.50. Wow, look at all the shoes and everything. So yeah, the Guild Hall right here in the centre of, of Newcastle. Looks so like it needs a bit of a, a clean. So it was built in 1713. 
and the clock tower added 1830. Ground floor arches bricked up and semicircular north end added 1860. Plaque was put there in 2006. Yeah, it's gone pretty green. So it definitely needs a, a clean up there. Again, we're going to the, the centre where all the market stalls are. So we've got Macadies over there. Macadies has been there some time. He did say it was going to be a dry day today. We've got all the washing out at home. It's going to get a little bit on the wet side now. There's a shop over there called Planet Donut. That looks pretty good. And here's the rain coming pretty bad now and the wind's coming on. Everyone's sheltering under the market stalls. Oh well, at least we've been able to uh, film a lot in Newcastle before the rain really come on. You can see Glenn there with his umbrella and you can see the rain is really coming down heavy now. Makes you wonder when this rain is, is actually going to stop. Just forecasting Thursday of next week about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. That saying it's going to be absolutely scorching. The summer 2023 has certainly been a wet one. Certainly like to visit here on uh, when the markets are on. It must be amazing. But with working, we tend to do uh, a lot of the filming on Sunday morning. It does allow us to do uh, plenty of filming without upsetting people. We're back to the bygone shop there. Left his broom there at the front. And back to the Golden Lion. Slug and Lattice. And again, the pouring the rain here in Newcastle under Lyme today. So that one's Hick Street, heading down to the main car park. And this is the area that I always think is a bit rough here in Newcastle, this part. Normally some strange people hanging around this area. So actually that's where Newcastle Pet Supplies has moved to, so they've moved across the road. Well, they used to be up there, so they've expanded big time. They must be doing really well, eh? And believe it or not, you've still got Barclays here in Newcastle. Barclays closing lots of branches. They're going to close Kids Grove at the moment. Oh, in fact, actually, amazing. Newcastle branch will be closing 25th of August 2023. Unbelievable cash converters at the bottom. So you're going to find the end of August, end of this month, that will be completely empty. Barclay's gone. Okay, and we're almost getting back to where, where we parked. So again, pretty impressive apart from, again, a lot of shops like the old, uh, was it, Brassington's. Doesn't look particularly good anymore. But if you have to flower display, come to Newcastle. That does look really, really good at the moment. As you can see, everywhere is just filthy. The places that are closed down. And we're going to head back down through the underpasses. Italian herb garden down here. 
and there's the sign welcome to our town Newcastle be kind I hope you've enjoyed the walk around Newcastle Underline today it's a very rainy Sunday morning and a rainy year 2023 if you've enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up drop me some comments and of course subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next adventure wherever that may be soon